Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. It's time for us to have a very punchy and entertaining third and final half of the show today. We have two phenomenal people in the, in the music industry here in the studio with us, DJ Java and Bella Alubo. And they're here to tell us all about their new single. And beyond just their new single, Bella spread a very important message in that song. So we're going to be tapping into that as well today. How are you both doing? We're fine. Hey. Now, this is an awesome collab, right. by the way. Let me <laughs> just say. Exactly. Awesome. I don't Thank understand you. what Thank this you. black is, you know. Yeah. Black and black. <laughs> And then black on the couch as well. Are you both a couple? No, no, no. no. We just we just teamed up to create <laughs> the most important we? question. But I'm sure you get this question a lot. I get it for every single male I work with. Yeah. To be honest, <laughs> oh, I see. I'm sure they're often <laughs> saying that you and YC are a couple. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I can imagine that one coming your way a lot. But yeah. how's the experience been? What was it like putting out this track? Um, it has been amazing. Like I didn't expect Java and I to have that much creative chemistry. Yeah. But when we got in the studio, we, we made like what? How many songs? We made. I think we did about six. Yeah. Wow. What was funny? Yeah, we have a lot. What's funny is that when she came, I was like, you know, I always wanted to work with her, but then I didn't know. Like I never really knew what I want to do yeah. until we were in the studio. So I was making something earlier, and when she came, I was the first thing I said was, okay, I'm working on something, but this is not your vibe. Uh, she was like, yeah, just play, just play. So I was like, okay, let me play. So I played mm -hmm. the, 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 the beat for her. And then she was like, I think I can work with it. Yeah. And I, the, just that time, she had already dropped an EP, Late Night Vibrations, she did with YC. So I think she found some kind of sound. And she was like, oh, I think I can go on this right now. Yeah. So I was like, okay, let's see. And then, you know, she sat down there. I was like, okay, what's coming to your head? Mm -hmm. Should I add something? Should I take out something? Should I make the beat easy for you? And then she was like, yeah, okay, okay, okay. But the thing about Bella is that, Anything she goes in to say first always ends up being what we use. True. So that's the thing. So any freestyle, any melody that comes in first. Yeah. So I just said, okay, from experience. I think that like, happens a lot. Sometimes you take a picture, like with pictures, you take the first picture and like, mm, I should take backup shots. And you need yeah. like 15 more. Yeah. And at the end of the day, that you first still go back to the first one. Because you're most yeah. natural. Like even my takes, like when I do a first take recording, I'll try to make something better. But well, you see that you're most natural, you're not thinking about it too much when you do it at first. So True. just do it most times. That's amazing. Yeah. So what inspired the lyrics behind the song? <laughs> um, <laughs> a situationship I was in. And I just felt wait, like... Wait, 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 let's pause real quick. <laughs> so for those watching, there's something called relationship and there's something called situationship. Yeah. So Bella is going to explain real quick what situationship <laughs> is. A relationship, pretty much, you know what you're doing. You know your boyfriend, girlfriend, or whatever the dynamics. But situationship, you don't know. It's just, oh, we're going with the flow, or one person is waiting for something. One person one is waiting person for the other one to toast. Exactly. <laughs> but then you're acting like you're together. It's not like you're, you've put the person in one corner. Do you know what we call those people? What? Canopy Brothers. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. You will not toast wow. a girl. You will not leave her alone. Exactly. 2018, please, we want to say no more Canopy Brothers. No more Take brother. your mind off. Take a walk. Yeah, exactly. True. So tell us about this. Situationship. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you like what I said on this song. Okay. So pretty much on this song, I'm saying you didn't have to come my way. I was doing all right. I was fine. Like you didn't have to pretend, because I feel like it should be. I feel like it's borderline predatory when people act like they're something they are not just to get something. Like from women, they want to sleep with them or whatever, so they act like I'm trying to get in a relationship or they put on a fake personality, not, yeah. they just act nice or whatever. I feel like it's, it's manipulation. It is manipulation. Yeah, it is. is. Yeah. All right, let's get a feel of what <laughs> Bella felt. You know, let's take a look at the song. Let's listen to the song and feel the vibe behind the song. When we come back, we'll still be speaking some more with Bella and we'll be speaking with DJ Java as well. Yeah. It's such a summer jam. Such a yeah, wow. Yeah, that's, that's Java, how long did it take you to actually work on that beat and finalize it? Um, it, didn't, it didn't take me much. I mean, this is my vibe. You know, I, I, I love house music. Mm. And I always say this, but the, the, the fact that I was in Cyprus for a bit kind of changed my idea of music because I like the fact that they enjoy the whole jump in, you know, the whole house music vibe. So, you know, I was telling you when I played the beat for her and I said it wasn't for her, it was because then it wasn't a, a, a pop house vibe, right? Then it was more R&B. So we made this whole song R&B. Mm. Then I sent her a demo and then she was like, it would be nice if we made this pop because I was making it for one of the tracks that would be on the EP, not like for a single. So I didn't yeah. approach it with a single man. So I went back and I'm like, yeah, there's a way I can make this summer. Because I love the fact that what she spoke about was what are we. 
And I felt that that would be really nice to make a serious question. You just took yourself you know, out of Nigeria, food, exactly. placed yourself in Ibiza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you understand? So you're singing a song, you're catching the vibe, you're on the beach, but what are we actually saying? So if you're in a situation, you're actually vibing, but you're actually like, so, what's up? Yeah, yeah. So it didn't take me time. I just, <laughs> I you know, swear it's catchy back. as well. Yeah, yeah. So I just went back, you know, added some bass, put in the normal kicks that you hear, yeah. and there's something called Tropical House. So. This is not really up tempo, so it's not like the house house. So tropical house is more of a beach vibe. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, it has the mid tempo bounce, but it still has the house texture. So I felt that that would be perfect for. So the song. I think the song is perfect yeah. for those who are in situationships and are thinking, you know, I should ask this person what are we, but you don't know how to ask. <laughs> and you just, still want just to just enjoy your guy, summer. Exactly. Yeah. 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 We are the world. <laughs> we are the children. Now you know it's time to bounce. Take right? a leave. <laughs> time to take a leave. Wow. Yeah. It's really been an interesting conversation, but yeah. you know, DJ Java, you're yeah. a guy. I say, guy, give us tips. We've been in situationships. Myself, Layla, and um, Bella. Yeah. How do you, as a girl, avoid yourself from being in this? Because we hardly have men being in situationships, unfortunately. Yeah. It's more of the women that are always in situations. The men mm. enjoy it. Exactly. Yeah, or, yeah, exactly. the women are on the bad end of the exactly. stick in exactly. the situation. You want, you want commitment, but the guy is like, no, you know, let's take it slow. Yeah. Let's just go with the flow. What kind of rubbish flow? Are you uh, different, Niger? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so please give us, but, um, in, in like 10, 15 seconds, okay, what, what I'll say is, What I'll say is that, I mean, just, just make sure, don't get too excited. Do you understand? Because some people might be, maybe no one has told them they love them in a while. So, you know, when someone comes, they are just thinking, oh, shall I go into it? Or what if no one comes again? Or so, no, just take your time. Don't rush. Don't get, you know, caught up with the whole fancy lifestyle. Know what you want. And always make sure you ask. And if he doesn't, I mean, you can, you're not wrong in Chile because you don't know people. I can't depend on what your friends tell you. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you can always know from the first day. If he says, oh, let's hang out. Yeah, go hang out and engage. So, but you must always make sure that, you know, you define what you're going for. And Apply then, if you hang yeah, out. And when, and when, you know, you feel it's not on the page, don't be afraid to leave. Mm. That's what I'll say. You know, don't feel like, oh, if you leave, no one will come. If you, if you feel you're beautiful, someone else will come. So that it saves us the stress of, you know, being called demons. And he says, hmm. you guys, the stress of... You guys want to be to saved the stress <laughs> of being <laughs> called something that you perpetrate. not be a demon? <laughs> oh, no, okay. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because simple. sometimes these things, you can't really... It's just, it just happens. You know, you can't... I don't feel you can actually explain or, like, describe. I don't know. Some people, they just have this... They just have this short-term love span. They just like you at first. You know, they're interested. Maybe after one or two dates... They're not interested again. You can't really explain. So that's what's why you need on. to ask yeah. this yeah, question so just, very yeah, early exactly. on into the hanging out. The don't keep hanging out over and over without asking questions. You are not a clot that they are hanging on the hang out. You have to really ask <laughs> Never questions. Hope. But thank you so much, guys. <laughs> to enjoy more of this our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.